Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian. I'm going to show you how to import sales and purchase orders from Excel into Sage. Excel to Sage is a Swiss army knife for importing things into Sage and it covers all the major transactions, 35 at the moment. And it covers everything from product invoices, service invoices, credit notes, uh, various bank transactions, project transactions, charity transactions and so on. It can also be automated, so it's ideal for integrating things like eBay, Amazon, Shopify and e-commerce applications into Sage. So let's have a look at it in action. So here's Sage, and at the moment I don't have any purchase orders or any sales orders for the 1st of July. But in my Excel workbook, I have now created about a 10 of each. Now, the Excel workbook holds various different columns and the ones in red are mandatory and the ones in yellow are optional. And the yellow ones get populated with uh, defaults that Sage might have. So in this particular case, I haven't put any unit prices in or tax codes. And during the import, the system will then go and look at the product code and get those from there. And it's the same thing on the purchase order. So if I have a look at the purchase order tab, purchase order tab shows me the things that I'm going to be importing as purchase orders with the defaults again being populated the way I want them to be. So let me take this off and let's just go and import them. So I'll go into the application. I just create a new log file, which will tell me what's going on. And I've just ticked the sales orders and purchase orders, but these are all the imports that can be imported. It's going to go into the mobile to stage test company and that's the Excel spreadsheet that's going to bring in. So let's run it. So it's going to go look at the Excel spreadsheet, look at those particular tabs. And here we go. We can see it's now successfully imported all those sales orders and successfully imported those purchase orders. So 13 of each. Great. I can also see if there are any errors or as well as the successes. And it then tells me also whatever my reference was and what the next Sage order number was. So let's come out of that. Let's go and have a look at it in Sage. So let me just refresh that. And there we are. These are all the sales orders. And if I open this up, I can then see the sales order that's been created. And in each one of these, it's gone off and it's found the prices and the back codes and nominal codes and things by default. And it's done the same thing on the purchase orders. So if I go and refresh that, there we are. Those are the purchase orders. And it fills in the unit price, quantity, nominal codes, and so on. But it can also fill in the order details like, you know, nominal codes and who's, who's taken by and so on. Dead easy. I hope you found that presentation of interest, please feel free to um, download uh, a free trial from red-it.co.uk forward slash Excel to Sage and uh, contact us if you have any questions or queries. Thank you.